So I'm going to answer the question of calculating the pressure using the ideal gas law and the van der Waals equation. So the prompt is a 1.23 mole sample of argon gas is maintained in a 0.607 liter container at 300 Kelvin. Calculate the pressure of the gas using both the ideal gas law and the van der Waals equation. Uh, and it gives us the info that van der Waals constants for argon are A equals 1.35 liters squared atmospheres per mole squared, and B equals 3.22 times 10 to the negative 2 liters per mole. So I wanted to go over the difference really quickly between ideal and van der Waals equations. So ideal gas laws does not account for molecular attraction or the volume mo of molecules. So this, so the van der Waal will account for that using this little section here, the a n squared over v squared for molecular attraction and minus n b for the correction of volume of molecules because molecules take up space and they are attracted and repelled by each other depending on positive and negative forces. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is identify my variables. So this was all given in the prompt. Um, I chose to go with our R value of 0.082 liter atmospheres per mole per Kelvin because we have liters and atmospheres and moles and Kelvin already here. So we didn't need to use joules or something else. We're not going for, we're looking for pressure. That's atmosphere. Okay, so for the ideal gas law, we kind of just plug in these first numbers over here. So dividing by V um, from over here. So that's the 0 0.607. And that gives us the 49.85 atmospheres. And then for the van der Waals equation, going right from that top one, we plug in all of our numbers from over here. Simplify this to be uh, here. And have our pressure come out at 47.784 atmospheres. So you can see there's over two atmospheres of difference. And the ideal gas law is nice and easy, but it's not 100% accurate, which is why we like to use the van der Waals gas law for situations such as this. I hope this helps.